Sam from the Useless Crafter. All right, this is what we're building today. It's 3D letters, 3D block letters in paper, and we're gonna also be designing them because so far all I've been doing is piecing it together and then saying, okay, we, we need to do the basics. And then the building is just like our cake topper or our banners. We just add on to the top of it. Um, but now that we have the structure down and the technique down, I wanted to show you how to piece together um, like an ensemble, right? So this is a Tiana party. So you can see nothing's put together yet. We will walk through that. At, I mean, you can even see this frog right here. It's just straight off the cutting mat. So see, but this is what it's going to look like once we piece it together. I've only done the I, but I can talk you through that. And then we're gonna build the S and the X. The way I recommend doing this, and I will show you the example by showing you this C. So the C clearly has a front facing and a back facing, right? And clearly the S, the I, and the X with these pictures are gonna be front facing. We're not gonna do it also on the back because it's a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of cutting, a lot of beautiful paper going to waste when we know it's always gonna be forward facing, right? But with our C, like if you wanted to do something basic like this, and sometimes you'll see the back of it depending where you're gonna put it, right? Like if you're gonna put it in the middle of a dining room table where people can walk in the front and in the back, you're gonna wanna decorate both sides. Um, or at least having a nice finish for the back side, and then maybe the front side you can have these decorative place, um, pieces. But uh, with that being said, so this is the front side clearly, right? Because when we flip it over, it's a it's a mirror image of the C. So obviously that's not the front. This is the front. But when we're piecing it together, what we want to make sure is because it's paper and it's you know it's small spaces, right? So this is our S. The S is definitely smaller than the C. So um, you know, it's the smaller the size, the smaller, uh, the harder it is going to be to put it together because our hands are big. We're trying to get in there. You want to glue it. You want a stable piece. Um, so with it being the front facing side, we always want to do that side first because that side gives us, uh, whichever side we do first, there's more room to maneuver and to fix. So we always want that to be, of course, our face forward side, right? So think of it this way. If we're putting this side first, this putting this side down first, you wanna flip it down and then we're gonna build this up. So this S right now is backwards, right? So we're gonna build that front facing side first. Then once we have it on, we're just gonna plop this on and then flip it over and add all our pieces. But we want the front facing to be as perfect as possible. Cause you can see right here, there's a little hole. It's tiny teeny and I don't think anyone's gonna notice it except for, you know, us because we made it and we're scrutinizing it but the front side there are no holes because that's the side that we did first where there's more room to fix things so that's what we're gonna do make sure I have my glue gun on the side right here where's my camera there it is um, already plugged in because we have to glue all this stuff on top right but let's do our S first so the way I like to do it is have it both um, with the front facing down, because we're gonna build the front first, right? So what I like to do is I like to build my letters so I know where all these folded papers go. It is relatively simple, because if you look at this X, for example, and I would, the way I would do it is, um, like if you're gonna do six together, which is fine, right? Because you, you still wanna, be as economical as possible, right? You want all the green sheets to cut out on one sheet or two sheets. So you wanna do them together, but I would go back to design space and I would keep the letter X together and the letter S together so that I can see from this folded piece that this is from the X, right? And you also know because of the shape of the X, look how long the two sides are. So you know it has to go here. There's nowhere else that this piece can go. It's not on the S because at first you're like, okay, well it could be this piece, but the pieces adjoining this long piece is a short piece and a sh not as short, but shorter piece. I have two long pieces. There's no way physically in any shape, way or form <laughs> is this the S, right? It has to be the, uh, the X. So you see how that goes. So what I would recommend is one letter at a time piece it together like this. So this isn't, obviously this is not taped down, but because for me, my spatial um, 
capability it's not my strong suit so i need to see it like i know from looking at this because i pieced it together that when i go to tape this piece down what i want to do is i want to tape i want to add tape right here on this side because i know this piece is going to go like this like this and like this so do you see what i mean so that means this side right here is going to be taped down but i need to tape it on this side some people you will see it i am great at math in any other capacity but not with like spatial awareness rotating things um no i'm done <laughs> So I'm going to make it as simple as possible for myself. The way that it's going to make the least amount of mistakes is if I piece this out so I can see it and I know which side to tape down because for me, it gets confusing fast. All right. So get a scratch piece of paper and I'm going to do, so we're going to do the S first, right? I'm just going to move everything down a little bit more. We're going to do this S first and... Okay, so I'm going to pick up this piece and I'm going to take this side. So I'm using my Tombow, I love this thing, and just running it along the edges right here, the tabs. The tabs are what's going to go down and stick to my actual S. So make sure you have enough glue on there. Okay. All right, so you're gonna pick it up, and while it still has, I mean, it does have all this glue down, but you still have a lot of flexibility to, to maneuver around, okay? So I'm just gonna push this in a little bit. Make sure you fold up everything so it's already creased for you, so it's flexible. Um, this is 65 pound cardstock, so it's not super, super stiff, but it's still fine. I do prefer 110 pound cardstock, but the thing with 110 pound cardstock is, man, it goes through your blades very, very quickly. So with the method, like with the way we're doing it, where we're doing the front facing first, I feel like you can have a not a stiff paper and still make this look good. But you have to do the front facing first, because if you do it the other way, your front unless you're gonna cover your front with lots of stuff, like maybe this one, because this one's completely covered, but our S isn't completely covered, neither is the, is the X. So just kind of know your project and start to, you know, I mean, the more you do this, the more you're gonna get a better feel for it. All right, so we're gonna place this down. I'm gonna place one edge at a time, okay? So put this down. And see, this first one is easy, right? You're going to push down on the tab on the inside because it has the glue. M meanwhile, just remember everything else has glue on the bottom. But as long as you're not pressing down, you still have the flexibility of moving this around. And you know what? Oh my gosh. That's not the right one. It's got to be this. Yeah. Ooh, that felt just slightly off and it was, okay, so here we go. But you see, like I was able to still pick it up. So this is right, okay. So see, you wanna crease it down because we know this is right, it fits perfectly. Then we're gonna do this edge. And then you're just gonna fold all the way around and get the inside. Okay, so that's all down. So what I wanna make sure, and you can see, that's what it looks like. So now you want to really press down. I usually just grab like the end of a pen or this is a, my glue pen and just sort of um, like really push it down or even use, um, what's a good, whoa. <laughs> I almost took down my glue gun. Um, I'm almost wondering if this is a good tool right now 
to really press down. I mean, it's only okay because it we can do it on these edges, but on the inside, that one's too small. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the edge of my knife blade on this side and really make sure that my inside is down because this is the only chance that we get to really make sure this is down because once we put the other S on top, it's completely covered and we're not gonna be able to access it. So this is the only time to really push down and make sure that your tape, we, we're really um, engaging the tape to be stuck. Um, so you wanna make sure that you push down as much as you can now while this is still open and we still have the opportunity to do so. All right, so now that I made that mistake, let's see, now this fits. Does this fit? Yes, so this goes here. Okay, that means this goes in here like this. Okay, all right, so this is down here. Let's do this piece next. And this is the edge. This one we're gonna glue at the end and it's going to attach itself to this inside piece here. Okay, so with that being said, that means we're taping down this side of this edge. So I'm just going to make sure you get the tape all the way down. And you see it's starting to get tight in here, right? You don't have a, as enough room like you did the first time around. So you can see I'm trying to get in there. Okay. And we're just going along the edges and pressing down. But see this piece is sticking up. I'm gonna push it inside and then push it in and line it up and then push down once I get it lined up. So you don't wanna push down until you know you're good with the lineup. All right, I think I'm good. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there, press down with my fingers as much as I can and really give it a good push because like I said, this is our only chance to really get in there. And you can flip it over and see this side is still looking perfect, right? Like all the edges are on point because we're able to really get in there and push down. So, okay. All right, so let's do this last piece, which is like this. <laughs> and it's gonna go like this, right? So we wanna flip this out and we know we're gonna tape this side down. So let's move all this over. And if you do a lot of these, I would recommend having your process like this, right? I don't know if you've noticed, but so far I've been taping down on my left hand side. It's just, um, you just want good, you wanna develop best practices because then you, you make less mistakes when you keep doing things the same way. I always lay it out, I always prep it, etc. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do this side first. I'm just gonna fold everything in again really quickly. And it's used to feeling like that, so it's gonna go back very fast. Okay, so let's line this up. Okay. All right, so I'm lining it up. I'm just going one side at a time. Getting it in there, okay. And you can see this is gonna get tight right now. So you just wanna line up as much as you can while you still have the room to really correct all your mistakes. All right. Oh, 
So I'm going to push down as much as I can before we finish this side. So you can see this side is done, right? So basically all we have left is we're going to put this S on top and seal it up and it'll be our 3D letter. And this is our front side, right? So our front side is looking pretty good. All right, let's look at our backs. Well, okay, so now with wherever the piece starts, there's gonna be this little edge right here that we can put glue dots. So what I like to use is, and I didn't pull it out yet, is I do like my glue dots. Um, you can either, I would say either use the glue dots and I grab a pair of tweezers, or you can use your fine tip glue. I'm gonna try the glue actually. So I think that's gonna give me a little bit more. I'm just gonna stick my safety pen down. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, I can hear it. All right, so I'm gonna do this side first. I'm gonna stick the glue down and then I'm gonna get my hand in there and hold it and let it dry while I'm holding it. That's gonna reinforce this and make sure that it is as stable and good as possible, okay? So here we go. Okay, so you see my glue? All right, so let's get this down there. And this is why I hate glue. I get glue everywhere. Okay, so I don't wanna get it on my letters. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it I'm gonna keep my hand, my finger on the inside tab and hold it together because it's still moving quite a bit. I hate glue. <laughs> but if I'm gonna have to use glue, my two favorite is art glitter glue that doesn't have any glitter in it. It just has glitter in the name and barely arts. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm just gonna stick my, just to make sure that my tape on the inside is good. Okay, so this side was pretty good. Let's do this one now. Less glue this time. I put too much glue that last time. Okay, so you see I got it all there. I wanna make sure my finger is in there to support it while it's down and drying. Get the excess off and I'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds. But see, the front side is looking really, really good. Okay, I don't see any movement there, so that's good. We have one more side right here. Because remember, you have, to, you have to glue down the three separate sides. Okay, so here we go. Let me see if you can see it. Okay, so my glue is in. That's good. Now, I'm gonna glue on the edge of all these pieces and then we're gonna stick our S down, okay? So that's gonna be our back side. This is our front side, okay? So on this side, what we wanna make sure is, I like to kind of prop up all our pieces so that when we put the glue down, we push down, there's something to, to it gives it back a little bit and it gives you that contact to make sure that both sides glue together. So, <laughs> all right, ready? So just put a little bit of glue all the way around. Okay, 
so it's all down. When you put this down, you're going to find that you need to sort of press the box together to make sure it's in the right shape. So you can kind of see you're sort of using all your fingers to bend this box the way it should be to make sure it looks perf as good as possible from the back. And this is why you want to make sure that your front side is already done because you can see that was a lot of finessing to make sure that the box is in the right spot. Okay, And I'm just going to hold it down while it dries because I want all my surfaces to be in contact. See, there's still some movement right now. You can still make some changes if you find that one side is too too much, you can squeeze it in. But you, you know, you want to help it by getting it to the right shape and then holding it and just making sure that it's down where it should be. Okay, so I think our S is pretty good. I'm going to flip it over. So here's our beautiful S. Now I have found, I've watched some videos, some people put um, like a little sachet of, um, of like beads or something to keep it heavy and down at the bottom, but my letters haven't fallen over. They're pretty stable um, and these are much smaller than the ones I've done before. So I don't really think we need it. Okay, so this is good. All right, so let's put our S down. This is, I don't know what you call this. So when we make it bigger, well, this green is the offset of this, right? It's bigger and it goes back, but the green is what it came with. We had to make the gold. So I've been calling it an inset. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but anyway, that's what I'm calling it. Let's tape this guy down. So I am going to use what I prefer, which is my tape. So I'm gonna, just do this. Oh, I did not want to do that. Okay. We've got our S down, so we're just going to put it in. And just to make sure, you know, it gets a good stick, right? Let's turn it over. Our backside looks pretty darn good too, I must say. I'm pretty happy with this one, okay. Or maybe I'm just finally with enough practice getting better. <laughs> okay, so here's our S. It's looking good. It's gonna have this lily pad on it. So one is gonna, it's gonna have a lily pad along the bottom right here. Our eye is already done. It's with Tiana and the shaker. And see, this is starting to fall off. So I'm going to, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna hit it with my glue gun right now, actually. There's glue oozing out of this, which is okay. I'm just going to grab a toothpick and see if I can get the glue off. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to do it to this, this top side too. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen my shakers, it the shakers are the same whether it's on a cake topper or on a 3D letter, okay? So you can get that on any of my shaker videos.
and it only takes a couple of seconds for it to kind of settle down. So I would definitely hold your hand down just to give it some weight and let it kind of stick. And then we'll assemble the um, lily pad onto the S. All right, I think that's good. Okay. So with the lily pad, what I would say is we can do this now. We can flip everything over. I always like to assemble it so that I have it ready to go. I like this piece, I already don't know. Okay, yeah. And we're going to make this more of like a 3D thing. So on the back of each one of these things, we're gonna put a little glue dot and we're gonna let it dry. So that little glue dot is gonna give us a little bit of height on each piece. So we're gonna let it dry. Um, oh, geez. <laughs> that flipped over onto my finger. Ah! So that's one reason to not use a glue gun for this, but I like it because it gives me the precision. precision. If I'm using a glue dot, like a sticker, foam sticker, the problem is these pieces are really small. So you're going to either see it or you need to cut through, cut a little piece off, which I find difficult to do. Okay. There. Other than now I have glue everywhere. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna flip this over. On this one, I'm gonna hit it in a couple spots because it's a bigger piece. So I want it to stay balanced and I want to give it some height or depth. Okay, this piece as well. And then while we're waiting for this one, we'll assemble the X, okay? So while this is all drying, we'll put it aside, we'll put this up here. I feel really good about this S. Okay, so let's look at the X. So same thing with the, like we did with the S. I wanna assemble it and make sure that all my pieces are in the right place. Okay, so I'm gonna do this side first, which is this piece, right, like this. I just want to make sure that it's correct, which it is. Okay, so I'm assembling this side, so it's going to be this. I'm going to fold this over. Okay. And I'm going to glue the inside right here. All right. And then push down to make sure you're in the right spot. Get that going. Okay, fold that in a little bit. This little piece that we're gonna end up gluing, right? Okay, so we've got that down. Let's do this one next. So. Right. Put glue down, tape down. I do like doing the bigger pieces first. So out of this whole thing, I'm gonna do this side first.
So you just want to push down your tabs, get it going in there, one side at a time, and you'll get there. One more left. So you can see once we'll glue this together and that should make that stick really well. And let's just make sure that these pieces are in and down well. Okay. All right, so last piece, this goes like this. So we're going to take down this side. Just push all your pieces in. We're ready to go. We're good. Just gonna take this and go all the way around because this is our last chance before we put that top down. Okay, so now we're gonna get our glue and glue those little tabs down on the edges. I'm going to stick my whole finger on the inside and make sure that's glued down. Okay, that feels pretty good. All right, let's do this one. I just hate, I oh. <laughs> Good thing the glue dries pretty quickly, but oh, it's just, I just hate the way the glue feels. And then I'm so worried about it ruining my, my beautiful letters. Okay. Just gonna hold it down for it to dry. And then one more tab, and then we're gonna glue down the back side. Okay. I think we're good there. Okay. Just this little guy right here. I was just thinking of my daughter, she's in kindergarten. So their little thing when they use glue is dab, dab, not, no wait, dot, dot, not a lot. <laughs> I should put that to practice, right? What a five-year-old is practicing is what I still need practice with. Okay, so my X is looking pretty good. Let's, so this is the back side. The front side looks really, really good. So I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna pull up the tabs, right? Because we're gonna put glue on it and then we're gonna push it down. Okay, so really quickly, get all that glue in. Here 
using our axe, push everything down and adjust as needed. Feels pretty good. And I just want pressure along the the edges, right? Because you know that's where the glue is. We just want to make sure it's making contact and that it's gonna dry well. <laughs> so you don't have any issues. Alright. I feel pretty good. Okay. That's our X. This is our front. This is our back. And if by chance your back looks better than your front, then by all means use the back. See this one is a little lopsided. I almost feel like the back is a little bit better because you won't see that. So I think using this side actually might be best. So you just want to take a peek though and make sure that everything is glued down. I think it's glued down well. Okay. So this is going to be our back side. Or this is going to be our front. This is what our front looks like so far. Okay. So let's start gluing our little lily pad together. Now in this piece, I do have my Tiana cake topper that matches with this, right? And it has the lights as well. I didn't do lights on this piece because I felt like it was too small, but you can see the light on the firebug or the firefly. Okay, so let's assemble this little guy. Um, there's really no right or wrong way to do this because it's just an outline. So this can go any way that you want to. I want to give it some color, so I'm going to let it sit like a little off. So let's put our glue down and then I'm going to put it on the three dots. So that's going to give it the depth that we want because that's dried. And then now we're going to put this on and then just hold it a little bit while it's drying to make sure it's straight, but it's pretty straight. I can feel it. Okay, then this one's going to go on top, this little gold layer. So you're going to have it like that. So I don't know if you can really see it, but there's definitely layers to this. You can see the depth. So it's giving like, oops, let me move over. So it's not gonna sit flat on the S. It's gonna look really pretty. Okay, so let's look at all these pieces. I'll just put it down one by one. For these little pieces, as you're putting them down, you just want to keep your finger on it for it to dry even, like parallel. Because it's just one little glue dot, so it, you don't want it to you know, stick up like that. You want it to dry flat. Um, so just keep your finger on the glue dot to make sure that it dries flat. Oh, this goes over here. I'll cover up the mistake that I just made. <laughs> no big deal. Okay. 
I think these 3D letters are so pretty. It just gives you another option to really tie in the theme between your cake topper, your banner, and then on the table. So like, because this one's six, if you did this cake topper, you don't have to have a six right here. You could do something with um, another piece from the theme or something like that to keep it clean. But then like your information is already here or that gives you the opportunity to put a number five candle. So, or a number six candle. Okay. Um, let's see, where does this piece go? Oh, this piece goes like this. See, it's so pretty. Um, and you can play with the colors. I originally thought this would look good and clearly that did not look good. I was trying to get like dots and hearts, but I don't think that looks, I thought that looked just too much. <laughs> so you can always play with the design and see, but um, I feel like if you did the whole banner and cake topper that you have a lot of room to mess around with. Let's see, where does this piece go? Where does it go here? No, I think it goes here. No. Oh my gosh. See, I'm really bad at putting these together. I think I have the wrong. Does it go like this? No. I think I have this one upside down. I think it's supposed to go like this. <laughs> but I have my glue on the wrong side. Let's see if I can fix that. Yeah, I don't think anybody will notice that. Okay. Okay. So this is all done. I was going to put that here. I think that looks really pretty. Okay. So let's put our glue down here. Okay, so that's done. Let's put down our X. I had it like this. Now with the frog, oh, my frog is falling apart. We can switch this around and do it like this. Depends on where, I wanted the frog kind of in the middle. I thought this was a good space for it. So just depends if you think it looks better. I think the purple on top is probably better. Okay, so I'm gonna put it down like this. We'll put that frog together in a second. Let's do this right now. So we can make, I don't wanna stand out the letters because it's not matched. So let's just glue this down. This one I don't want to do because I think the hot glue might change the color of this. So actually I'm going to do glue tape on this one. Okay. 
So let's do our frog. And we're just gonna use glue tape on him. He's flat, He's, there's no dimension to him at all. The only thing cool about him is he's got different colors that make him look really, really pretty. I actually use gold, um, orange glitter cardstock for his spots, which you wouldn't think should look good because the orange would be too much. But the orange, it's like this burnt orange, so it's almost like brown. It looks really, really nice on him. All right. So let's get him down because we're almost done. Yay. And I love mixing the different greens and texture on him. So he's got shimmer paper, which is this, this green. This is glitter cardstock. Um, I think it really makes a difference for him to kind of shine. Okay, these little pieces I'm gonna glue and actually I'm gonna use this. This is the We Are Memory Keepers um, quick stick. It has like a tacky glue on this side, which I love. And let's see where these pieces go. They go like that. Um, no. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. tell and then on the other side you can move it it's like a little piece that you can push around it's such a great tool okay yay look how cute he is all right, so we're gonna put him down right here. I am going to make him stand up a little bit, so let's get some glue dots on him to dry really quickly. Because I don't want him flat on this letter, but it's gonna look so good. I love this thing. I hope you liked it too. So any comments or questions, please post them, and if you have a special request, I'm totally here to help you with your project. I feel like it's the best way to learn, right? It's so hard um, trying to apply these methods to your specific project. So definitely post your comment, post your project, and then email me at ann, A-N, at the uselesscrafter.com. I'm always taking special requests and I will help you do step-by-step -step in design space. And then you still have to follow along and recreate it in your design space. So it's the perfect way to learn um, and then you'll just get better. And then afterwards we can collaborate and make cooler new projects. All right, so I kind of wanted it like this. I'm gonna hold it. Yay, we're done. So I kind of like the balance of all this. She's in the middle, he's at the top. The lily, um, 
the lily pad is kind of on the bottom and then the mix of colors so all three of them as a trio goes together really well so I'm gonna move this up you can make something like this to go with it right for your cake topper yay <laughs> it worked out all right I will see you guys next time thank you so much for joining and until the next project bye